Hi friends, Radhika Ravi Kumar here. So in this tutorial, we'll see what is rank and uh, dense rank in SQL. Okay. Uh, so rank and dense rank both are analytical functions, and these functions will give us rank based on some column. Okay. This is the main purpose. That is, it will give uh, rank based on some column. Okay. So rank, what exactly it does is, whenever um, there is a person who has taken first rank, it will give first rank, then second person will take some second rank or something, then third person will take third rank and there is a fourth person who has taken the same rank that uh, the third person has taken. So there will be a tie, right? So the, the fourth person will also have the third rank. Then while coming to the fifth person, as these two people have taken the same rank, the rank will just escape or else it will, um, uh, you know, uh, miss the next subsequent rank and it will give fifth rank to the uh, fifth person okay then it will continue like this so the thing is whenever there is a tie huh, in some ranks so the next rank will be missed by the rank analytical function that that is what it does so the fourth rank will be missed and it will continue with the fifth sixth seventh eighth rank so you can see 3 and 4 is missed here as these two have got the uh, same rank. Now coming to the dense rank, dense what it does is whenever you will just make one to the person third rank and another person has also got the third rank. So here uh, the dense rank will not uh, you know, skip the rank as the case of this rank. It will just uh, you know uh, mention the fourth rank for the fifth person and then it will continue like this. That is, it. Uh, whatever has happened in the rank, it doesn't happen in the dense rank. That is, it doesn't miss the next subsequent rank. The case of there is a tie or whatever. The same whenever a person gets the same rank, so it will continue. When two person has got the same rank, the fourth rank is given to the fifth person like that. Then the sixth person has got fifth rank like that. So hope uh, you guys have understood. This is the difference between rank and dense rank. By seeing this, you can understand, I guess. So we'll make use of this rank and dense rank analytical function in a simple query uh, based on our employee table and see how it will work. Okay. So for this, uh, I'll even include the row number. Uh, I guess uh, row number is also an analytical function. It's not like a row num. Uh, so row number is uh, will be you know it will can uh, it is a unique serial number that is being uh, generated for every record that is being fetched. So that is what is the row number function analytical function will do and it uh, it can be reset uh, it can reset the value at every group level so i guess you guys know about the row number the difference between row num and uh, row number uh, if i can in the other tutorials i'll try to make a video on this row number but uh, generally you know there should be some uh, basic uh, understanding of the row number so we'll, i'll just uh, write a query uh, so we'll see how these uh, analytical function will work. Okay. So let me say select e name and uh, salary, and also I'll select the row number. This is also an analytical function, and uh, also uh, whenever we are using analytical function, the over clause is a must. We all know that, right? So we'll say over clause is mentioned as these are analytical functions. Then I'm going to order this by order by salary because I'm going to give ranks, right? So order by salary in the descending order. Then I'll just uh, give a alias name for it because I don't want this big name to be displayed. I'll say Rn. Next line, I'm going to say the rank analytical function. So again, over clause is a must. Then again, I'm going to say order by salary descending order in the descending order okay i'll give a name for this too i'll say r n k 1 okay as r n k 1 then in the next line i'll uh, take up dense rank so this is also an analytical function so over clause is a must then order by salary in the descending order then give a name to this okay 
then from which table you want to do this our employee table so you can see the result here so you can see that uh, row number that is uh, a unique number has been given to all the records you can see 1 to 18 number has been given just like uh, row num okay whereas uh, there is a difference between row num and row number we'll see that in the next tutorial so this is what is about the row num here you can see the rank rank analytical function is there so you can see that johnny and king they both are having 5000 salary and uh, 2 2 that is second rank is given to johnny and king and then you can see the scott is having the fourth rank he's not got third rank whereas he has got the fourth rank so in the case of rank function as i said it will skip the next subsequent rank that's what exactly this rank function will do so you can compare this with the dense rank i use dense rank here you can see it here johnny and king has got the second rank that is they are having 5000 5000 salary coming to scott he has got the third rank it's not like our rank which has given fourth rank he has got the third rank that is the next subsequent rank is not missed in the case of dense rank so this is what the difference between rank and dense rank and i guess you guys have understood how this uh, rank and dense rank will work so if there are any queries then uh, please do mail me to plsql.informatica.gmail.com and also let me know if any of the topics that you want to learn so that i'll try to make a video on those things and also please subscribe to my uh, channel and like my videos and thank you very much for watching.